so now um, we need to get something going here and this thing may very well yeah yeah this is gonna this is gonna taper this is gonna be fun how high up does that it's still way too tall hmm all right so we'll scale this down just a little bit this is what I was was hoping for was the ability to just sit and kind of tweak this this ring like like we had some sort of like parametric thing going on or something where we could just sit and go oh yeah let's do let's do this and then let's do this and it just sits here and builds up here um okay so now we need to go and uh I think what we'll do is in this viewport we will we will taper this thing a bit so let's go taper um, and I think we'll do both sides is that right um, there's a midpoint straight up no yeah we have to no yeah I was like that Oh yeah. Um, let's do planar on both sides. And let's go right there and let's go there we go. There. And then we go out past there. And uh oh no, we're exactly we we, because you're watching, are exactly wrong. Um, we need to do taper from here to here. Oh, yeah. Uh, infinite, yes. Flat, yes. Huh. Oh, well, now I gotta, I gotta. You know, I don't even feel like using taper. How do you like that? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do cage edit, cage edit, bounding box, world coordinates, enter. Uh, this is the Y, so the Y count is not four it's three degree two that's fine turn those on global yes there it is all right so now we pick these two and hold down shift in these two and we pull this down and we're careful not to let those hit each other and then we go from here to here and we go down to there that's what I'm talking about now how tall is this yeah that'll be just fine that'll be just fine okay so there's that okay so now we have um, we have an edge here now here's here's where this you know is gonna start to get really like picky and that's just the way I model is really picky like so cuz everything I do is a surface model because I don't have a file and a buffing wheel and so here we go so I'm gonna dupe the edge of this hit enter and there's there's a new profile okay and as a matter of fact let's put this on orange and let's switch this profile to yellow and uh, alright and then I'm going to uh, snap a line across here 
and this profile needs to move from here to the mid of that and then it needs to rotate from here on out this way over to there so that's going to go right straight and that's right straight from the middle on down so that gets to go surface sweep one there's the surface edge and there's oh no stop 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 sweep one there surface edge then there's the yep that goes right along there and uh, that's this layer and that's going wow oh that's getting squished dang it so what happens when you don't practice a video yeah this isn't uh... oh you know that's fine that's fine I'm gonna say that again that's fine because this kind of changes let me look at this thing for a sec all we have to go by is this so that does that and then it does this let me turn some of this off go away yeah you know really I was just kidding I was really just kidding um, you know the beauty of this too is smart flow is you don't have to have this surface even out there so let's nuke that and uh, this curve is going to get split with a point right there you know somebody I was talking to the other day was like yeah I love it when you like do these videos and it shows how you think about it you know whereas I think the whole time I'm like oh you know I really should have practiced this video so that it didn't look like I was sitting here thinking the whole time so makes for really long videos but what are you going to do join yellow so I guess what I'll do is make it longer so let's go surface sweep one yeah this has to be blown up I guess we'll do sweep two now that we have two alrighty yeah boy I think we can change that layer and this layer Mm -hmm. All right, and then we're gonna we're gonna start knocking holes and stuff and doing all sorts of stuff. Stuff. As a matter of fact, we'll uh, we'll take this one, split it with this one, like so and we'll come up in here and throw that away like that and then this one will get split by this one I think Oh no, did I just do that? Oh no, I just did that. This one gets split by this one. Wow, I was having like an internal struggle there. That didn't work. That's going to get split by this. What? Select the cutting objects. Um, that one. How come I won't select that? 
Oh, it's a control. <laughs> Oops. You know, really, what we could do is go split with an ISO curve this thing, toggle, T for toggle, and in theory it's right there, enter. There we go. Kind of makes me wonder what that's about right there. We'll figure that out as we go on. So this and this join together. And if we hit F2, um, two surfaces joined into one open poly surface. That's what I'm looking for right there. Okay. Um, And we'll just cap this up here later. So there's what the ring looks like so far. Coming on up into there. And then we need to build more stuff on top of this. And I bet this cage object doesn't do anything anymore. You know, I think I was a little premature in... Uh, No. Oops. Yeah, no, that doesn't do anything. Let's, uh, there's a little lesson in what goes on. Um, let's leave all that alone and let's pick this. And, uh, we can come back to the K. Yeah, why did that? At what point did that get messed up? You know, once a once a cage is is broken, it's broken. And there was a message that went by that I didn't catch that said uh um once I cut that, there was a message that went by that said um, something broke the history of that. I'm not going to find it. I'm not going to worry about it. But it was in there somewhere, and if I would have caught it... Mm. Um, so that's fine, because I think I might want this to be a little taller um, at some point. Let's turn this off and see. Yeah. That's going to need to be taller based on what's going on. You know, I guess looking at this, there's no need for this to even be there. Um, this, this one can really be here now that I see it. There's no need for that to even go in there. Um, so we'll sweep that in a moment here. Well, let's do it now. So sweep to one, two. All right. Okay, and because at any given time we may need to. Uh, we may need to sweep this a different way, or we may need to cage edit this. Let's set up a new cage. Cage, bounding box, enter, enter, enter. And uh, this would be a straight up. There we go. So at any given time, we can sit and change that, how that's working. That should be cool. And I guess, you know, this might stick out more than this one. So for that matter, we might take at any given point this 
and this oops no no those three and ah oh, I'm just dying those three and those four actually <laughs> What did that do? There we go. All right. But that's, that's, I don't know, I'm not going to get tired of that anytime soon with that doing its business. Oh, and it's putting the cage up there. That's funny. All right, so there's there's that ring sitting there doing what it's meant to do. And eventually, I guess we'll make a surface if we need to that goes down here the whole way. But uh, without regard to that. All right, so there's, there's part of the ring. And um, next we need to... Uh, to get this thing coming in and have the next rib up um, so let's turn this off and we need this center rib right there um, now depending on how oh man let's see what this looks like yeah. Yeah, depending on um depending on what happens here, we need to get um another surface. that goes along here so let's go ahead and I'm gonna put this cage on orange and turn it off alright and then let's go and let's um, extract an ISO curve on this surface T for toggle what do I get there yeah right about there and we'll put that on white oops there we go and there's that up there and then I have to figure out like where this goes to so it kinda it kinda comes along here and flares like so all right so it's gonna I'm just gonna draw I guess I'm gonna do interp curve on surface where's that at Terp curve on surf right there and we're gonna start here and we're just gonna draw enter rock on that's fun so there it goes and rock on does anybody say that anymore I don't know keep on trucking um all right so how does that look that's coming along there and it's you know I kind of like it now I gotta leave room for this uh yeah, this cutout. That's <laughs> just keep rotating it. Yeah, I think we'll fix this a little bit. We'll turn on the control points. Yeah, let's rebuild this so it has less points. There's too many points to mess with. So rebuild has ten five preview. Uh, 
five is good. All right, so now we'll turn on the control points, and that's better. So this needs to, maybe these two need to move over a bit. And then maybe this one just on its own. All right. You know, that looks good to me because the distance here is even. So that, that I don't know. I'm, I'm convincing myself that that's good. All right, so now we need to come... Um, We need to come straight up here, and uh, so let's do this. Let's make another. Let's come over here and go. This is like, I don't know. I would love to have a builder of some sort that uh, perpendicular. I would love to have a builder that that you work flat and it throw well kind of like what I'm doing <laughs> wouldn't it be cool if I was doing what I was doing um and uh but just you know some more automated you know where it does its business All right, and uh, this curve gets split by this one and this one. Enter. Oh, hey, wow. Uh oh, I have my pause. Okay, so now we don't need uh, this one. Delete. This one. Delete. And then in the looking down, or side view, rather, uh, let's go like that. And we'll put these on yellow, and let's turn white off for a moment. Or no, you know what, let's put them on something else. Let's put them on that and turn off yellow, too. Okay, so here's here's the idea. Uh, I'm going to do a circle, right? What? Circle. Right here. And then mirror that to the other side. And uh, this is my... Well, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe I'll just use good old-fashioned fillet. Join. Fillet corners point two. How's that sound? Sounds darn good. I did not even hit pause and, t and practice that. I'm not that sad. Uh, all right. I think this should be. Um, let's switch to this layer. A straight line. I think this should fizzle out to nothing. So now, surface sweep two. Let's switch to this layer. One, two. I know. All right, how'd that do? Let's turn this off. I don't know how that did. Is it supposed to be more like, um, oh, I have an idea. This would be fun. More blend stuff. I think it's even supposed to be um, like more, more, uh, more smoother. How's that? So sweeping in here, coming up, going up, going over, you know, like it's more, uh, more smoother. 
my mom was an English teacher. She would not be digging that. All right, so... We go here, and we go uh, straight across, and I'm going to pull this in a bit so that I can go here and go over, and then this one is going to get split with a point like there. Delete, and then we're going to blend, which is gone blend from this little curve to there. Oh yeah. <sighs> Alright, delete. This curve is going to get uh, split with a point. I need to add that to my Delete, join, mirror, join, 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 join. So that goes right down to that. That was no mistake. We come back. We throw away, sweep two, and this is going to take me to part one of this video. Oh, right there, yeah. So now that blends down into that other surface right there. And uh, yeah, once you change layers, you can't. And we do need to indeed knock a hole in this, which is fine. And we will in part two, part do. So we got to do that. And then, you know, you kind of don't see this hole in in this view. I don't know about that because I, what, I what I see in this view is a hole right here, you know, that's, that's like in there. We'll see about that. We'll just see about that. Okay. Um, so there's, there's part one of this so far.